boom, started. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have some news. Big news. Big news. Big news. Come on, flash it, let me just out of focus. Boom. Look at this beauty. Whoa, Boom. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Look how beautiful she is. Okay. <laughs> so, we're gonna take you through our story uh, with all the drama with this beautiful ring. Drama, drama, drama. Drama, and how she almost ruined the proposal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, are you ready? Yes. We okay. wrote everything down because we didn't want to miss a thing. Yeah. So, do you want to start with the drama of the ring? Let's just go straight to the drama. I'm gonna ask you a question actually okay. before you begin. Like, how did you know? Like, when did you get the ring in relation to like our relationship and how we started? So we met this June. We met this June, and I bought the ring in August. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I bought the ring in August. Yeah. But little did I know that I bought the wrong ring. So I thought, listen, I'm a stylish guy. I will know what she likes. Like, you know, I got this. So I really did buy a ring. And the ring was already being shipped to Croatia because at that point I was in mm -hmm. Croatia. And then casually during our one of our talk, because we were long distancing, mm -hmm. Kayla mentioned uh, something about like you need to talk to my friends. It was something like that. Yeah. I don't even remember But I was like shoot like why didn't I do that? Like why didn't I talk to her friends? And then I messaged one of her friends. She was like, yeah, I have a Pinterest board I'm gonna send you and she sent me all the pictures. They were like shoot <laughs> This is not the ring that I got um, It was <laughs> I was panicking, uh, the shipment was already here and I was like, listen, this is once in a lifetime, I'm gonna order another ring. So I ordered another mm. ring for my beautiful babes because I wanted her to have her dream Ooh, wedding ring. That's so sweet. Yeah. So that was, that was the first drama, but it's not the end of the drama. Ooh. The second drama was with the ring size, like how do you say it? Uh, yeah, like with the... Of the, the, band size, the band size. The band size. Because any time that Kayla, that her friends would ask Kayla, she would be, oh, I'm like four-ish. And I remember I was online and the ring was like 4.25. And mm -hmm. I was like, it should be enough. It should be good. Mm -hmm. Will it be good? And I was like, and I ordered it. The ring came and it's a stinking beautiful ring and we actually gonna have another video about just this yeah, ring yeah yeah uh what type of is mm -hmm. it what type of a diamond is mm -hmm. but anyway back to our story i couldn't even fit it to my pinky and i was shoot is this gonna be too small mm -hmm. if if i'm on one knee mm -hmm. and the ring cannot go through her finger mm -hmm. i'm gonna I, I don't know i was like what do i do and literally what I did, you're all gonna laugh now, but I was like, Lord, hear me out, Lord. Is this ring gonna be too small? Is it gonna be like, what should I do? I was literally in prayer, like, Lord, help me out. Mm -hmm. And I heard him say, it's gonna fit perfectly. And I said, okay, I'm gonna trust the voice that I believe I can mm -hmm. hear and I'm gonna go for it. So... And it fit perfectly. Hurt, like guys. Thank like, this you, is Lord. A perfect fit. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> like ugh, everything was perfect. Yep. And we're gonna do another video about tips for engagement because I think that's a huge one. And honestly, babe, like it was probably the Lord prompting me to talk about the fact that you should always ask the girlfriend. Yeah. Because think about it. If I had never said that, like, you would I don't have know, the wrong. You would have the wrong ring. Yeah, but we're gonna do another video because that's really important, guys. Like always ask the friends. <sighs> Yes, the friends. They know. They know. They talk about every, it. Not every girl, I won't say. I won't generalize, but most girls yeah. have a Pinterest board with their dream ring. Yeah. So the friends know yeah. that. They know that. Yep. Okay. Okay, what else? What let's else? Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, you said something about the box, too. Oh, the box. Like, <laughs> like this ring. It came in an ugly box. Like it was this black box. It was so, it was plastic and I didn't like it. So literally, I ordered a new box. We have the box we have here. It. We have the box here. This cute little box. Cause I this love everything. Was, this was a cute little boxy. Yeah. Boom, zoom in. Thank you, camera. Yeah. Um, and it was, 
it's it's empty now because it's on her ring because she said yes i mean spoil alert <laughs> Uh, but yeah, then I ordered a second box so everything would be perfect mm -hmm. and that's it. So cute. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna get into the actual engagement and how we got to this point. Yeah. So, first off, this guy had such a great cover story, which we're gonna get to in a little bit. But he had me block off all these dates in November. So I was thinking like, okay, it'll probably happen maybe at the last one of these dates or like the beginning of December. So I had like all these dates in my yeah. calendar, yeah. including where we went on Monday. Yeah. So tell them about that. So Monday, so we got engaged on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. On Monday, like the be day before Tuesday, we went to Lancaster to this mm -hmm. coffee shop where we had our first Ooh. date. So it was all part of the plan. Mm -hmm. Um, basically we recreated our first first date yeah. where we spent like five or six hours yeah. in that coffee shop where we were literally blown away yeah. by each other um, what was I what was I about to say yes mm -hmm. one important thing we so basically the Lord spoke to her about me the mm -hmm. Lord spoke to me about her mm -hmm. but we had a deal <clears throat> we said okay babes uh, we don't wanna. We wanna respect and honor the freedom of the other person. Yeah, yeah. So I don't wanna put anything on you that the Lord told me, exactly. and the other way around. Mm -hmm. So we wanna. We we wanna wait with that. So what we did in that same coffee shop where we had our first date in Lancaster, mm -hmm. we went through all of our confirmations from the Lord mm -hmm. and how the Lord spoke to us that like this is it, like this yeah. is your person, yeah. and how the Lord blessed us. That's gonna be another video to shoot. Yeah, we have so many videos to yeah, shoot. We have a lot to say. It's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful yeah. story. Yeah. So that's what we did on Monday in Lancaster. But the really important part of that was that one of the very main moments for both of us that we shared at this coffee shop was at our fourth date. Yes. Yes. So basically, again, we're there on Monday and we're sharing about like that one moment where we were both like, whoa, like yeah. this is my person. So we shared that and it was beautiful. I don't even know how to like really fully say this. <laughs> again, we'll get into that story, but we're going to put a pin on that because I didn't put two and two together because that very spot where we had that Holy Spirit aha moment about each other was exactly where we were going on Tuesday but I thought we were going there for something completely different. And this yep, is the yep, cover yep. story. So what I did, I asked one of my good friends to send me a fake, fake text message mm -hmm. saying, hey, uh, I'm speaking at this church on Tuesday and I would like if you could like join me and mm -hmm. give a testimony. And then my wife and I are gonna take you and Kayla on a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. So basically, she thought that yeah. we were gonna go to that church for like to hear him speak mm -hmm. and for me to give a testimony mm -hmm. um, about God's goodness yeah. and everything. Uh, and basically, the dinner was also part of the plan because I knew, oh, we're going to, on a dinner. She needs to be nicely uh -huh. dressed. She needs to have her hair done mm -hmm. and and everything. So it was all part of the plan. She had no clue. And I remember we were talking the the night before, and mm -hmm. she was like, "Babe, <laughs> the Lord is so good. We're going on the same place where we went before. And uh, we just just today we had our first. Yeah. We recreated our first date. Isn't the Lord so good?" I was like, "Yeah, he <laughs> is." <laughs> Not knowing this was planned yeah. at all, I yeah. literally thought it was just a coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the cover story was good because I made sure because I thought we were going to this event that I had my nails done Which is a whole nother story that I had my hair done that I had a cute outfit on This was a good good cover story good cover story. Good what cover else story. do we have? Oh the drive the drive to the destination. Yes <laughs> So guys, how do I say it? We had a, our fourth date on that spot where God confirmed to mm -hmm. us that this is it mm -hmm. and on our way 
on our drive back from that spot, we had a beautiful moment. Mm -hmm. It was like a 45 minute drive. We had a beautiful moment when we played a worship, uh, isn't it Jesus, Jesus image, right? Yeah, Jesus image, yeah. Uh, we worshiped the Lord. We both cried in a car. Yeah. It was a beautiful moment. We were like, yeah. I always wanted something, someone to worship, to cry before the yeah. Lord. So it was also mm. one of the big things for us. So sweet. I love you, I love you too. Uh, so it was one of the big things for us. Yeah. And little did she know, when we were driving to the actual proposal, because mm -hmm. she doesn't know it's proposal, mm -hmm. she plays the same worship, and yeah. again, we worshiped for 45 mm -hmm. minutes, and I was literally almost crying the whole time. Yeah. I did cry, I have to admit, I did cry, yeah. and she was like, oh, babe, you're so Ooh, sweet, and I'm like, like oh. So emotional. He remembers the drive we did in June. <laughs> I'm thinking that's it, right? And I'm like panicking, yo, oh, baby. If you only knew, why I'm crying. Like this is oh. happening because I knew. Yeah. Mm. So the drive was really nice. It was beautiful. I loved mm -hmm. it. Um. So then we finally get to the location, right? We park, and again, I'm still thinking we're here for this event. So he's like, oh, babe, like I need to text Matt, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, this is like a huge church. Yeah. This is a, what do you call it? A shrine. a shrine. Okay. I'm like, how is he going to find his friend? How are we going to know where to meet him? He's like texting him. Really not him. And then even before, yes, we're like leaving the car. And I'm like, babe, I don't know if I want to wear my heels. <laughs> like, I think I should just wear my flats. I think it's going to be too much. And mm -hmm. he's like, no, wear your heels. And I'm like, babe, I have it here. I'm like, should I bring my water bottle? It's huge. It's huge. It's a huge water bottle. And he always tells me to bring my water bottle. Like, everywhere we go. He's like, yeah, babe, I'll carry it. But this time he's like, no, 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 don't bring your water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> But she, thank God she was not suspicious I wasn't. at that point. I was like, okay. So we walk out of the car and basically the place where we're going mm -hmm. is right next to the church. It's mm -hmm. like a garden next to mm -hmm. church. And I tell her, listen, I have an idea. We still have like a half an hour, 20 minutes to until the event, until the event. conference starts. <laughs> Let's just go to the to our spot. We can like take a selfie mm -hmm. or make a video. Mm -hmm. It's like, who knows when we're gonna be here again. And then she says, I was like, but babe, <laughs> we get there at 4.30, the event is at five. If you know me, you know that I'm always on time and I like order. So I was like, babe, we're not gonna have enough time to walk all the way down. I was like, I'm in heels. I'm like, that's not really a good idea, babe. We should wait or do it another time. <laughs> so I was like, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me now. And I was like, just please, can we just go? There's enough time. Yeah. I don't even know what I said, but thank God you're such an obedient <laughs> woman. <laughs> Uh, and she was like, okay, like, I think you were like, okay, I'm gonna do this for you, like... Yeah, you said something like that, like, babe, can you just, for me? Yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, I was like, whatever. I had to, I was like, I had to pull that card out, like, can you just do it for me, please? Yeah, I was like, he's the one talking, like, yeah. whatever, yeah. if you're late. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then, mm -hmm. as we're getting closer, I did think about it only once as we were getting closer, because I could see a sign, like, right at the beginning of the park, garden, whatever thing. And for a second, I was like, oh my gosh, like, is this sign like a proposal sign type of thing? But as we got closer, I saw the sign just belonged to the park, saying like the park name or whatever. So I was like, no, it's not going to happen now. I'm thinking all the things like he has the event. I'm like yeah. Sarah and Natalie, my two like best friends. I'm like, they're busy today. I was like, it's not going to be today until we stepped foot into the garden. And then I heard our song playing. And even then, I was still like, oh, babe, they're playing our song. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> like, not putting two two together. I'm like, is there someone else here just, like, yeah. playing our song? Yeah. So, she figures it out, finally, because there was, like, a nice path. It was in the, like, this garden woods area. Uh, candles yeah. everywhere, our song, and like we had the spot prepared with a little carpet, mm -hmm. pampas grass, everything was nice decorated. Yes, shout out to Natalie and Sarah, my two besties, who apparently had all these secret meetings with this one, literally planning the perfect proposal. Like, I never had like an exact picture of what I wanted, but I knew I wanted it to be intimate, I knew I wanted it to be thoughtful, and I just wanted to feel in that moment, like, wow, like, he thought about me, and he thought about us in the proposal. 
disposal yeah. and that's exactly what it was like all of the elements that I love like you said I love pompous grass I love things that are just like super like cute and boho and chic yeah. and that's literally what they did and like I see the photographer there I see Sarah there I didn't see Natalie at first yeah but it was just like such a surreal feeling so like, what walking, was yeah. what was going through your head like you know this is happening you see the carpet there you know like what was what was going through your head I mean it took a while to sink in. For a while, I was still like, it hadn't really hit me. Mm -hmm. I was like, is it just like something nice? <laughs> she was like, what? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Because I just wasn't expecting it. Yeah. And then as we were walking to like the carpet area, you could see in the pictures, which will obviously add some, um, you could see my face just like eventually getting it. You know what I mean? Yeah. At first, it's like, wow, yeah. this is so pretty. And then like, oh my goodness, like. I'm about to be engaged right now. Like, I'm about to be proposed to. Like, mm. this is the moment that, let's be real, most girls dream about their entire lives is like that moment. Mm. So, like, when it hit me, it was just like, whoa, I yeah. was a mess. Yeah. But a beautiful mess. So, we got to the yeah. like, main area, carpet area. Yeah. And I remember I hugged her. I told her, oh, babe, this is happening. happening. And then I told you, then I told you, like, you do realize that there's no talk after. <laughs> Which I didn't. I was like, oh, the talk's probably <laughs> after. I was like, maybe the talk is at 5.30 and it's just 30 minutes after. So, thank God that I, that I tell yes, you that. I would have been like, babe, let's rush this proposal. We got the talk. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> so, at that point, like, she's already crying. Yeah. You, you, you always said that you were, you were nice crying. You have your ugly cry and you have mm -hmm. your nice cry. You yeah. were nice crying. She was cute. It crying. was the Lord. Because <laughs> I thought I was gonna ugly cry, which I did at some points, but not for the yeah. main, the main part. So, so I, I did, I did kind of. After we hugged, mm -hmm. I kind of prepared this little talk. To be honest, I was so nervous mm. and so excited that I have no idea what I said. I just remember it was like a 30 seconds, one minute speech. Mm -hmm. I got the one knee yeah. and I remember I, when I was on my knee, this is the part that I do remember, I, I told you, uh, it would be my honor to love you, to serve you and to run after Jesus mm -hmm. with you. Will you marry me? Mm -hmm. And she was like, yes, yes, yes. And then I put out the ring this thank god thing. thank god like i had no idea which hand I which finger i was completely lost i was like so my she, poor baby needs help i needed help i, I put out my left hand <laughs> my left hand the right finger she was like okay, okay. i was like thank you thank you <laughs> and then the ring was slowly go going on her fingers like please let it fit please let her fit and then it kind of stuck on the on your like knuckle. biggest knuckle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it got kind of stuck, and I pushed it, and it slided. Which is exactly perfectly. what you want. Perfectly. And yeah, we just started to hug. Yeah. We were emotional. We, uh, the photographer was there, mm -hmm. so we had like our photo shooting session, it was whatever. Perfect. Yeah. We immediately called both of our parents. Yeah. We were all crying all yeah. the time. It was a beautiful it was, moment. It was so beautiful. It was beautiful. surreal. And then, of course, so to have my two besties there mm. um, was just so beautiful. And to, like, fully get the fact that they have been planning this. Again, that's how I wanted to feel. Like, I wanted to feel like it was yeah. such a thoughtful thing. Um, so to be able to share that with them. And the photographer was so sweet. Got a picture with all of us to remember the moment. And yeah, it was just beautiful. And they were so gracious, Natalie yeah. and Sarah, to clean up after, mm. clean up everything after us because- Clean up everything because we had a reservation. Yes. So we still had a nice dinner, just not with Matt and Jen. Not with Matt and Jen, <laughs> shout out to Matt and Jen. Sorry, <laughs> we missed the dinner. Um, basically, I found this really good restaurant yeah. mm -hmm. and who's the name of the town? Frederick? Yeah, Frederick, Maryland. Frederick, Maryland. And yeah, we had our engagement like dinner, mm -hmm. eat really good. Um, oh wait, you wanted to say our, well, one of our favorite parts, there's two favorite parts. Aside from the actual proposal, was oh, getting wait, in the wait, car. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. So we, got, you want to tell it? Go, you go ahead. Uh, yeah, that was one of my favorite parts. So we get in a car, already engaged. Yeah. There's a half an hour drive to the restaurant, and we both looked at each other and literally started screaming like a top of our lines, like screaming with everything. We're engaged. Yeah. We're screaming. We're hugging. Yeah. 
Uh, I was like, it was, it was such it was a magical. good, it was such a good moment. It was, it was such magical. a beautiful moment. And then my last favorite moment to round out the video mm. was after the dinner. My babe was so thoughtful and he found this like really cute little water river type thing yeah. right close to the restaurant. So we went and we took a walk mm. afterwards at night and then we sat down and we just prayed because we pray together every night. So that was like our nightly prayer. Yeah. And that's when like I think it just really hit like wow. Like, it hit both yeah. of us because mm -hmm. we were like praying all the time. Uh, even before going to the to the place and um, I think it was just we invited the Lord mm -hmm. and it just hit us mm -hmm. and we both while we were praying we we're both crying we we're both emotional mm -hmm. like telling each other promises yeah. like I promise I will do this I promise mm -hmm. like uh, Lord we promise that we will run after you mm -hmm. uh, it was just such it's a beautiful. beautiful beautiful moment an emotional moment yeah. and yeah then yeah because it's the fulfillment of the promise like we had both been praying for each other yeah. for such a long time so to be in that moment to finally realize like mm. whoa god you are so good and you're so faithful that you heard every prayer you yeah. collected every tear yeah. and it was worth it all for that moment you know yes, what i mean we would do it all again wait. yeah yeah totally worth the wait so <laughs> you're worth the wait oh, God. so yeah <gasps> Um, that's it. That's it. Wrap it up. So like we said, we have a lot of other videos that we're going to do, especially yeah. about this, because a lot of you have like asked us on Instagram mm. for the story and there's just more things that we have to say. So it's we definitely want to share it. Yeah. We're excited. This is our first YouTube video that's going to come out as our engagement story. Yep. The yep. Lord is good. The Lord it's is good. It's a good it's start. It's a good start. It's a good start. Yeah. All okay. right. That's all we got. Bless you guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.